Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, with another manga review. Now, if you're interested in buying this, I'll say it from the beginning, uh, check my description below or in the comment section and you'll be able to find where you can buy this. I'll leave a link there for you guys. Okay, The Girls Last Tour is actually one of people's favorites that came out as an anime series last year. And uh, before it was a series, I watched, I'm sorry, I read the first two volumes, I believe, or the, maybe the, just the first volume and writes the second during during it came out. Something like that. Anyways, uh, and before it came out, I was really excited about this one. And then when it did come out, I was excited that they had made an anime. Uh, it's always exciting when, you know, one of your favorite mangas ends up being an anime. But uh, I usually don't like Slice of Life. And I've said that in some other reviews. Uh, Slice of Life, sometimes it's just... Not not me. I, I don't enjoy it sometimes. But this one, uh, this series, in, in all, I do. Now, I don't know what it is about the series that I particularly like. Because um, it's it's it, it's just slice of life, really. And sometimes it can feel repetitive. And I'll explain right now what I mean by that. But the artwork is also different. And I don't know. It could be the artwork that is different. It could be the possible post-apocalyptic uh, story, or just the fact that you just wonder what's going on in this world, and they just give you pieces and pieces and pieces. So, I'll start with the repetitiveness of this. Uh, obviously, most slice of life, in one, uh, or at one point, sorry, becomes kind of repetitive, and this is not the exception. There is kind of a repetitive ongoing in each volume. Uh, for example, there's always kind of like a new character they meet, uh, human or non-human, and uh, the human or non-human character ends up leaving them or abandoning them at the end of the volume. Um, there's also these kind of bare questions that you never think about, um, and I actually appreciate that because each question is different. Uh, this one kind of talked about music, which I, I like music, and uh, the the other one was, was culture, which uh, I mean in my area I work on and stuff like that. So. They kind of talked about culture, what is culture and what is music and how people define it and why why people define it that way. And, you know, it's just the innocence of a mind that doesn't know what us as humans that live in this culture or in this era uh, see it as. In this post-apocalyptic, we have two girls who do not get raised in, in our society or anything like that. They just come up with these ideas from what just from the little knowledge they know of these words. So, did like that. This one had that. Those questions, they're kind of bigger questions that sometimes we don't really put time to discuss ourselves. Uh, the other part is the ongoing, kind of like a repetitive, their new character. There was a new character in this one, and uh, this new character was actually different. In Volume 3, it was a robot, and I thought that was super interesting. This one was a little bit more interesting. It's this blob. And I guess you can say blob. It, it eats almost anything. It, it actually at one point ate bullets and huge bullets. And there's this ongoing joke of how big of a bullet he can eat. And uh, and then he's able to communicate with them verbally. And also he guides them to an area. And you eventually find out why at the end of the volume. I won't say it why. You don't have to get ruined, get that information ruined. But uh, they explain why he takes them to this area, and uh, anyways, they're able to see all this different destruction from um, tanks and other weapons, and they're just kind of talking like, what is war? Why are people doing this? Why are people to do that? Uh, how do you, you know, why invent stuff like this? So, uh, great, great series. Um, I think... In a cuteness and a nutshell, it's a cute slice of life that just really makes you think. And I think that's why I just really enjoy this series. So uh, make sure you uh, go check it out. And if you do want to buy this volume, I'll leave a link there below. I have other reviews for this for this series. And you guys can watch my other reviews for the first, second, and third volumes. And I will continue more likely to review this series. And uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, the most important part. 
Also, if you want to buy it one more time and last time, I promise, go to the description below or the comment section and you can find the information there. Also, uh, don't forget to follow my channel as I uh, start new stuff in my new home. Thanks so much, and like always, you'll be safe.